Namaste fam, Wolfgore here, and I've got a vlog video for you today. It's been a while, but I like to try and save up topics for the vlog videos so that they're not too short or too long, and I all of a sudden have way too many topics, so we're probably going to have another one of these very soon. But oh my god, I love Sekiro. Sekiro is so fucking fun. I might like it as much as Bloodborne. It's a little early to say. I'm almost finished with my first playthrough. I might finish tonight. We'll see. And uh, on the note of Sekiro, I want to apologize that I haven't really been streaming it. Uh, I was planning on just kind of doing the whole thing live and blind with you guys, but the game is just like so good and there's so much depth to it that I kind of just have been playing it on my own for my first playthrough so I can get that full immersive experience without being distracted by all the different things that I have to, all the different plates that I have to spin when I'm streaming because it's just so good. And I'm almost finished with my first playthrough, and it's going amazing, I love the game, and we're gonna be jumping extensively into New Game Plus in the very near future. You can expect us to go all the way to the max difficulty, which is New Game Plus six or seven, depending on how they split it up. So there's gonna be a lot of secure in the future, so look forward to that if you are enjoying it. Before we go any further, I wanna give a big shout out to my friend and subscriber, Green King. Green King is an awesome guy. He's a fellow YouTuber here. He does spicy challenges. He's been live streaming Sekiro himself. You probably know him from the live streams and from uh, the Discord. And Green King made some very, very generous contributions on a recent live stream, the New Game Plus 100 Harry Potter build of Bloodborne. And uh, I wanted to give him a shout out, show him some love. So if you haven't checked out Green King's channel, I will have a link to his channel down in the description. Please go check him out, watch some videos, leave some comments, hit the like button, subscribe if you like what you see, and uh, let him know I sent you there in the comments. And uh, I would really appreciate it, guys. And thank you, Green King, very, very much for your generous contributions. I haven't decided what to spend it on, but I do want to put it towards the channel. And uh, yeah, thank you. But back on the note of Sekiro, you may have noticed that I've been posting a bunch of guide videos for Sekiro, and I wanted to give a little bit of explanation to that, just because I like to keep you guys up to date with what I'm thinking, what I'm doing on the channel, and I've never really posted much in the way of guide videos before, except for this one. And that guide video gave me the idea uh, to make more, because that Bloodborne guide video that I just slapped together when I was a brand new baby YouTuber has got like 110,000 views and I know a number of real interactive subscribers that actually hang out with me on the live stream and do the whole thing, you know, really good subscriber, the subscribers that you want to get actually found me because of that video. And uh, I've been, I don't want to say frustrated, I've been slightly disappointed with the numbers on Twitch. Uh, every time I've tried to stream on Twitch, really, it's harder to get subscribers on Twitch because it's the most competitive streaming platform out there. And, you know, I really like to be in this sort of 25 concurrent viewer sweet spot when I live stream just because it keeps chat flowing. I get into a really good rhythm when we've got like 20 to 30 people there and I can keep up with everybody in chat. There's not too many, there's not too few. And uh, it, when new people come in, everything's just flowing and then they end up hanging out and subscribing or following. So there's this really good flow when there's like 20 to 30 people at a live stream at any given time. And that's just not the numbers that we're reaching on Twitch right now. On a good live stream, we're reaching 20 at the peaks. And we're, that's definitely not the average. Like uh, our last Bloodborne live stream, we like capped at 10 people, which is not where you want to be. So if you are seeing this and you haven't been coming to the live streams for whatever reason, maybe you don't know that I'm on Twitch now, there are links in the description right down there. Please go follow on Twitch. Hit the, the bell icon so you know when I'm live and come hang out. I miss a lot of you guys, and uh, I would love to see you join us on the live stream. But you know, that's okay. I'm not trying to be all doom and gloom about it. So numbers are low, that's fine. I'm not super worried about the numbers, but I do just wanna get to that sweet spot on Twitch that we were at on YouTube for so long, just because it feels right. So the point is my idea is to make more guide videos like that one Bloodborne guide video that I made way back in the day that has brought so many people into the fold just by getting clicks on the channel. So when I jump into a new game that I'm really planning on devoting a lot of time to, like Sekiro, in the future it's gonna be the, um, the Monster Hunter World DLC, 
or World of Warcraft Classic when that comes out. You know, I'm just gonna spend some time right after it comes out making some guide videos. And they're, they're easy, they're fun to make. And hopefully those guide videos will take off. They'll continue to gather more and more views every day and uh, they'll bring in new subscribers. Those subscribers will come over to Twitch and then we'll get Twitch to that sweet spot. So that's why, to answer in a very long way, that is why uh, I am making guide videos. And they're actually kind of fun to make. So, And lastly, I want to announce the return of the moderator challenge. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting this to come back. A lot of you want to get that blue wrench slash that Twitch sword uh, badge next to your name on the live streams. and. The reason why we stopped doing the moderator challenge, I believe back in August or last September, something like that, was that we were just getting too many moderators too fast. We really don't want an overwhelming amount of moderators. We want kind of a sweet spot of like maybe seven active moderators. And I know we have at least, at least two moderators that I can think of off the top of my head that aren't really coming to streams recently, which is fine. Uh, no problem, they're not gonna lose their mod status. That's totally fine, they got their own shit going on, that's okay. But I did wanna bring back the challenge. But it's not going to be a monthly challenge because one a month is just too much. It's, we're gonna fill up those slots too quickly and uh, we'll just be back to not having the moderator challenge. And I love the hype of the moderator challenge. I love people showing up to the streams and interacting and feeling like they're, they're working towards something, like they could get something really cool from this, something that they could brag about. So it's going to be a yearly challenge at this point. Now we might tweak those numbers in the future, maybe go six months, but for right now, it's gonna be from today, the time that you're watching this, until the end of 2019. So if you want to be a moderator, hang out at the streams. And we do have a moderator tab at on the Discord, so let me know if you are in for the 2019 moderator challenge. Uh, just by posting anything there, just like, hey, I'm in for the 2019 Moderator Challenge, and uh, me and the mods will be keeping an eye on you, and whoever at the end of 2019 was at the streams the most, who interacted the most ways, who was the most awesome, uh, you can subscribe on Twitch to get attention, you can follow me on Instagram, just anything within the, the whole wolf gore biosphere online, anything that you do, will be appreciated and it will earn you wolfy points towards becoming the next moderator. Uh, you are going to need to be 18 years or older to become a moderator. I do apologize to the younger viewers, but that is just the way that it has to be. And I am sorry. But yes, so please subscribe or please uh, apply for the moderator challenge on the Discord. I wish you all the best of luck in 2019 and may the best person win. Now I do have some other little points that will be in another vlog video soon about the 1000 subscriber special coming up as well as a giveaway, pa -pow, my first ever, and I am just not going to go into those right now because this video has already run on too long and I love your faces. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you on the live stream soon with some Sekiro and some other stuff and uh, yeah, like the video. See you next time. Bye!